beautiful melting day outside here in Michigan guys as you can see it's finally starting to warm up spring is finally on its way and I am walking to merchandise outlet go see if I can find anything of interest all right We'll see you guys in a little while. Later. Probably gonna pick these up today. I think they're 40% off. That's what I found so far. Let's see if I end up finding anything else. All right. See you when we get back to the house. Yeah. I'm right outside the door. Watch that breath right there. Right They probably will. <laughs> They'll be the best looking ones on you then. <laughs> Kayla, how's it going? I haven't that time, Skitty. Oh! That definitely sucked. Hey guys, it's been a little while since I did my last video. Man, boy, I say that every time, don't I? Anyway, um, I, uh, yeah, I, I, the reason for the delay is I hadn't had much stuff to put in a video. But I recently went out and I found some stuff. I'm sure some of you have already seen some of it from the, uh, divers page that I'm part of. OK Chiefs divers page. Uh, but let's just dive right in and um, show you what I have. I will have some shout-outs in here for people. And, uh, yeah, let's see what I've got. <clears throat> this is pretty much in the order that I gathered things. I don't really like, uh, you know, sometimes I'll categorize things together, or I, I most prefer having everything just in the order that they were picked up. But, yeah, here we go. Um, the Scary Book by Joanna Cole. I love little books like this. I'm into horror and the macabre and things like that. This book reminds me of the Alvin Schwartz books. Um, I don't know if you've ever heard of them, but uh, they were released by Scholastic back in the 90s. And they are... Um, uh, they are... Uh, now they're becoming collectible because the artwork in them uh, was too scary for kids today. And um, they're called Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark. And I believe there's actually some of those stories in this book or something like that. I know Taily Poe's in here at least. But yeah, I got that. Next I have this. It's a Batman Returns movie storybook. 
and it's just what it says. Like, the entire movie is in this book. And it's in kind of bad shape, but for 29 cent, I wasn't going to pass it up. Uh, next we have, let's see here, what do we have? Uh, these. Now, I actually ended up already selling these, so someone has spoken for these. But, if you look, you can see that they are error printed packages for Pez. You see, now, uh, Hello Kitty is now released by Nintendo, and Toad is now released by Hello Kitty. I'm sure neither of those companies are happy about that at this point. But, that's just the way the cookie crumbles, apparently, when you only had one job. But, I'm happy they sold, and, uh, that's, you know, that was a really interesting find. It's rare to find, you know, stuff like this. Uh, let's see, what's next? Ah, yes. Um, here we are. Next we have a generic GameStop case. No, actually, it's, uh... Uh, the bouncer for the PS2. Eh, the disc is actually in not too bad of shape. I've seen far worse. And plus I have access to a disc buffer if I really, really want to do that. But I think I am going to keep this and try to complete this game. So I am looking for the inserts instruction manual. And we have... Resident Evil 2 for the GameCube. I actually have this up on my auctions right now. I don't know if it'll sell, but we'll see. There's the game. Trying to avoid the uh, glare. And as you see, that's an original GameCube case. And... That's all I can really say about this one, other than... Oh, yeah. I assume that this originally was a rental copy... I mean, there's not rental stickers on it, but if you look, you can tell that that's not the original inserts. And if you look at the back of this, it's definitely not the original inserts. They're printed off. But yeah, there's that. And next we have... Let's see. Yeah, we'll do this one since it pertains to the merchandise outlet walk video that I was doing. Um, yep, you see this? A little while ago, I did an, a blind bag unboxing, and I had these, and this is the complete set. So, I decided to sell my singles off. I mean, the packaging is not in too good of a shape, but I have all of them, so I don't really need to worry about collecting all of them anymore. But yeah, it's a nice Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mashems pack there. I guess online, this, this particular pack is selling for quite a bit. And finally, something I got in a completed trade from someone, who I'm about to give a shout out to. Um, yeah, uh, you see, it's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the arcade game, and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the Manhattan Project. Now, I was told by the person I traded with that Manhattan Project doesn't work too well. Well, I ended up getting both. I traded for a Meowth tin, so that's gone. That one's no longer available. But I love these games. I loved them as a kid. I still love them. And he also included something else. I never knew they made anything like this for the 2000s. But yeah, that actually reminds me of the original Turtle line. The way that it looks. It's really tiny, but... I'm very pleased with that, and the name of the person who sent these to me was Ethan Grove, and he's part of the Divers Nation uh, for OK Chief. Also, I want to give a shout out to Neil Flowers. He um, he bought some uh, gaming books from me. Actually, they're books that involve video games. Uh, it was a Mario book and a Sonic book. I'm still looking for more if I to see if I have more of those. Um, also, um, 
James Smith, I believe is his name. Yeah, he, uh, I've been enjoying talking to him on, uh, the Divers Nation. And, uh, well, I guess that's about it. Um, I hope that, uh, you guys keep watching my videos, and I, um, hope to get some more nice stuff for my next one, and until then, I'll see you guys in a bit.